Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to be doing my July wrap up. I am so sorry that it is like a week late, but I just didn't have time to film last week. So here it is now. I do want to say that I will be numbering all of the bracelets and in the description, the pattern number will be linked. So without further ado, let's just begin. The first bracelet I made in July I actually made like June 31st, but I didn't have enough time to include it in anything, so here it is. It's this little frog bracelet. It's really cute. I love the way I did the endings, and yeah, I just like frogs, so <laughs> that's the first bracelet I made. The next thing I made is this Outer Banks keychain. Um, I love the colors in this. I think it turned out so good. Here's the back. Here's the back of this bracelet. But, yeah, I like the little charm I added. Okay, the next thing I made is another Outer Banks keychain, but this one's a different pattern. I love this pattern so much. Like, the little flowers. I don't know. I just think it's so perfect. Here's the back of it, and I love the pineapple charm I added. It just adds to the, like, tropical beach vibe, I guess. I don't know. The next thing I made, I had, well, with this, I started the 24-hour challenge, and I made this bracelet. It is, like, a triple inverted candy stripe thing i don't know but it's really pretty i love the colors i chose my favorite color combination is pink and blue i just think they go very well together the next thing i made is this scoops troop keychain if you've seen stranger things you'll know what it is but it's the scoops troop yeah um I love how this turned out, even though it's a little wonky, I combined like two patterns to make it, so like the letters and the people, but I love the triangle ends on it as well. Here's the back. This one was pretty hard to make just because there are so many color switches. The next thing I made is one of my favorite keychains ever. It's a strawberry frog with a little charm. I love it so much. This is my first time trying double bass strings, and honestly, I don't see much of a difference. Like, it just kind of, this is 10 strings, and this, I think, is like 14. So it just made my bracelet thicker, but didn't really change much. The next thing I made is one of my favorite things ever because it uses rainbow thread. I love rainbow thread. It is this Himalayan flower bracelet just so pretty and here's the back i forgot to show the back of this there it is but here's the back of this i love it so much not the back but like i love this bracelet so much the thread is gorgeous the next thing that i made is this groovy keychain i love this keychain so much i just think it looks so pretty here's the back the back looks really cool actually so yeah there's a dog hair on it that's lovely but i really like how this one turned out i it's really good the next thing i made is one of my favorite wall hangings actually um it is this butterfly wall hanging um i love the colors i chose like they're so pretty i love how straight it is too here's the back but yeah i love how straight this is and i love the endings i love doing these little like triangle ends I have a tutorial on it, and I have a tutorial on this loop. The next thing I made is a normal pattern. Um, it is this bracelet. I love these colors. It's not something I would normally um, go for, but I really do love how it turned out. Okay, the next thing I made is another hibiscus flower bracelet with the rainbow thread, but like inverted. So they're matching. I think they're really cute. This idea, Lauren Knotts gave me the idea on Instagram, so thank you, because they're really pretty together. Next thing that I made is this Sunbum keychain. I love how it turned out, and I love the colors I chose. It was inspired by someone on Instagram. I tagged them in the post, so go check that out. And I made this little rainbow bracelet. I've worn it 
that's why the ties are messed up. But I love how this turned out. Even though it's a little wonky, I just love the colors and it's so cute. Then I made one of my favorite keychains ever with rainbow thread, of course. Um, I don't even know what to say about this, but like, it's just so pretty. Even though there are holes in it, like, see, but every bracelet has that, so. The next thing I made is another Outer Banks keychain, but this one says Pogues. Um, yeah, I really like the colors I chose for this again. It's just so pretty. Here's the back. I love the way the backs of these letter ones look. It's kind of cool. And then, the last thing I made in the month of July is this little sunflower keychain? Sunflower? Yeah. Um... I love how it turned out. It's so cute. And I made a second one in August, though. I made a second one. And they're going to be on my Etsy shop. So look out for that. And then I made these earlier in the month, but I made three more of these Outer Banks keychains for my Etsy shop. Two of them have sold. There's one left. So go check that out. But yeah, now... Let's go on to showing the entries for the July Challenge of the Month. That was a lot of entries. Thank you so much. And the August challenge of the month, the normals are number 41278, number 85339, number 60576, and the alphas are 66612, 46952, and 92753. Then I have a bonus, which is any summer themed pattern. Interpret that how you want to. Um, and then if you're entering on Instagram, you will tag me in the post, not the caption. Make sure it's in the post so then it's easier for me to see. And then if you forget to tag me or something, this is the most important part. Make sure to use hashtag litrosyog21. Make sure to use that hashtag or you can email me. My email is bracelets8 at gmail.com. So yeah, I think that's all the information for the challenge of the month and everything. So I want to thank you all so, so much for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye!